Hey Capricorn, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. So this is going to be your October love reading for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So some of the messages may or may not resonate for you. Just take what does. Stuff's falling out here. The Hermit. <laughs> I don't know, the Hermit. You know, we're going into Venus retrograde on October 5th. And this is what this reading is about. Um, what the love energy is with your spread here and then um, advice on what you may need to do during this Venus retrograde, what you may need to take a look at. And so, of course, this card fell out. Um, so the Hermit, some of you could be dealing with Virgo, but the Hermit card is about reflection. During this retrograde, no, uh, October 5th to, I believe, November 15th, there's a lot of things that may be coming up for you during this time um, in relationships, partnerships, that you really will need to pull your energy back and try to reflect. Now, the, also the King of Cups is here, so this could have something to do with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Some of you may need to be reflecting on a particular relationship with this person, pull your energy back, not try to um, make any moves. The Hermit's very static. You know, he looks down, he tries to find answers. And either this is someone who could be during this retrograde, um, could be in this place. If you're not speaking to this person or not talking to them, they could be reflecting also during this time. But this is more so advice for you, even if you're not dealing with a water sign. Um, you know, even if you are, it could be a family member, male or female. Uh, or a friend. There's something calling you to take a, a step back during this time and try to reevaluate, reflect on the past, <clears throat> even if this is someone from your past. Um, maybe you've been taking action in a particular partnership or in your life, and now it's time to pull your energy back in regard to this person. Again, if it's not a water sign. It is someone that has the energy of water where they come across as being um, a bit reserved emotionally. They're not overreactive. Um, they're kind, um, warm, patient. Could be a, f a fatherly figure, a loving father, or a motherly figure who's very kind. <clears throat> Something that I feel you're being called to reflect on. And the retrograde always causes this. Um, if uh, Sometimes it can bring people from the past back into our lives as well. Uh, so if you do have someone who's returning back to your life with that energy or is like that or that sign, you may need to reflect on if you want this person back, if you want to resume that relationship, if you want to connect. Your love advice here is to keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So definitely to keep an open mind about love during this time, to be more reflective, not really take action. So let's go on to your, your love rating for October. Now the past here is the Seven of Cups. So there may have been an issue, and, and I want to tell you that this reading is going to be from the other person's point of view okay, or their perspective or what was going on with them. So whomever that you're dealing with, you are the Capricorn and whomever you're dealing with. Okay, so this person's energy in the past was a lack of commitment. They um, maybe had a lot of options on the table. They didn't know what to choose. This person um, either was always seeking other options or they were always just like they're fearful of commitment is really what I feel is coming through. Burning the candle at both ends also, I felt. And I just kind of get a sense that, that at least that's how their energy is in the past. Now I see them here being quite secretive with the priestess um, about 
so it's a two card, the major arcana, and it, that the two represents partnership to me. So if they're secretive and quiet or they're not speaking, it may be because of this retrograde that's happening. I think it's a challenge for them to try to have something new with you or try to elicit. I, f I feel that this person does want to connect with you, especially in a physical way. But for some reason, I don't feel they want you to feel that that's what they're doing. I don't feel this person wants you to think that they are in like, to look at them in this negative light just because they have a very deep se sexual attraction for you. So there's kind of like a delay with that um, of having that new passionate energy with you. They're keeping to themselves with the high priestess. They're trusting their intuition. They're trusting their gut. They're kind of waiting for a sign from you, I feel. You know, they have the three of cups down here in the root of what's driving them. So I do feel like this person that you're dealing with is being very social. Um, they want to socialize with you, uh, spend some time with you, go out, have fun. Um, but with the moon card here in their thoughts and what they're thinking, they're really not revealing too much. The moon and the high priestess are very similar to me in that um, there's illusion involved with this person, who, whomever you're dealing with. And I feel that they're standing in this place where they're kind of like observing You could be dealing with someone who's very intuitive. Oops. Let me just, oh, I was going to say, let me just clarify the moon card here. The Knight of Wands. I don't know why all of a sudden my camera, it's just so dark, but it went dark. So the Knight of Wands is here. And yeah, this person, you could be dealing, their energy is <laughs> a, kind of a little player-ish in some way. You know, they... I feel like they kind of come across as being um, like they, sorry, like they like to um, have fun. And that's why they've been non-committal. I don't really feel like they're trying to be committal at this time either. I feel like they're waiting. This person is waiting for like the perfect time to come back to you or to reach out to you. They're thinking definitely about it, but they don't want to reveal their emotions to you. They don't want to reveal feelings to you. They just want to come towards you on, in the physical sense. And they, this person feels it's a benefit for them. But there's also this energy of, with the high priestess, of being a very deep connection between you two. It's almost as if like there's a partnership and there's like a knowing about this partnership. I don't feel like it's addictive or anything like that. I just feel like this, I feel like they know that you, they, they secretly know that the two of you are connected on some very high level on some like, like outer space type of level. It's so high level, but I, and they're very attracted to you, but I don't feel like they want you to take them as coming towards you as that being the only reason they're coming towards you. But yet they're doing themselves an injustice by giving you that impression. And especially if you're dealing with a King of Cups person, they hold their emotions back. Okay, so the near future is the Ten of Pentacles here. So this is a card of safety and security and family and feeling you know healthy and wealthy in all areas of life okay um there is going to be communication in the near future from this person you will hear from them perhaps sometime at the end of october like middle to end of October, 
they're going to, I feel they may reach out to you. They may try to have communication with you to overcome whatever problems that the two of you may have had in the past. Probably communication about this issue with not wanting to commit. Okay, this issue of them just kind of spreading themselves thin in the past, always having fun, you know, but I really do feel like there's an actual deep connection here between the two of you. Here's a reconciliation card. This is a card of an apology or friendship. So mm, and this person is actually during this retrograde is, is beginning to see that there is more to the connection that the two of you have than just a sexual connection or a friendship connection. They're very attracted to you. I will tell you that. Their, um, <clears throat> their present situation, like where they are right now, they have the Eight of Cups. So there's a temporary se separation that's happening right now between the two of you, okay? As you're listening to me say this currently. They are probably, maybe they ghosted you or they're just kind of like not in the picture, not really connecting to you. This person, I feel they feel abandoned or lost or disconnected. They feel that whatever was there before has just come is beginning to just drain away and that's probably why they're coming to this realization about you and wanting to reconnect with you to try to fix stuff to have that stability again in the relationship or to have some have some type of stability i don't know if you've cut somebody off or if you've just told them this wasn't going to work for you because of their lack of committing but i feel here the Seven of Cups to the Eight of Cups tells me that they've progressed to this point where they've just had to walk away. Okay, but I am seeing here that them, I feel like they're, they're realizing now that there's more to this connection than what they thought. Your advice here is the Three of Wands. So again, this is staying open. Stay open, be receiving of anything that comes towards you, okay? Staying open and in a place of receiving does not necessarily mean taking action. Even though the Three of Wands, the wands are an action card, sometimes non-action is action. And I feel, um, well, oftentimes it is. I feel with this Three of Wands, the energy is telling you to stay focused on what's right for you um, wait and see what's bring, being brought to you wait and see what's coming towards you during this time so that you can evaluate and see if this is if this person is if they're true about what it is that they're looking for about what they want if there's actual if there's something there to work with if something more needs to be added to it or something less needs to be added to it kind of like when you're cooking and you're you're making something you have a recipe do you add more do you keep it the same um, contemplation is called for at this time from you but to stay open to what is being offered because I do feel there's going to be some type of an offer made here, some type of reconciliation. Now this person, they have the princess of swords. So I feel like they want to charge back to you. They have an intention, definitely have an intention. And they're hoping they definitely have intention to speak to you. I am seeing that. They definitely have intention to communicate with you, but they're, they may fear that you will not take 
any type of communication. See, here's the Knight of Pentacles, two knights. It's an offer coming forward towards you. I just want to see something. Yeah, I, I definitely am seeing aggressive action here. Um, wanting to reach out to you, wanting to make an offer to you. They're, it's almost as if they're, this is what they want to do, but at the same time, they're not sure if that's the right thing to do. And they, they fear that maybe they'll be too aggressive towards you. And their thought process is, well, maybe it's better if I just reach out and offer something to make them believe that this is bona fide. This is real. This is true. The outcome of this situation is the temperance card and the 10 of swords. So I feel like you're both going to find a way to balance out this connection. Um, the 10 of swords, that's the end of the pain. That's the end of betrayal. That's coming to the end. Um, and finding a place of peace and harmony. Putting, I feel like, you know, the Ten of Swords is putting an end to finally taking that last sword in your back and hitting rock bottom. And then there's nowhere else to go from there except up. And I feel that with temperance, this is just saying that things will start to balance out between you. There will be harmony between you. There is a sense of having prosperity, being prosperous with some reconnection with this person. I just feel like it's it's success after pain is what's coming for toward both of you. In, the, in this connection with this person. But you are definitely going to need to stay open to what comes toward you and take a look to see, you know, how can I show you without like getting all wrapped up in this? The Knight of Pentacles, you see how he's making this offer um, with that one pentacle? And here, it's like you receive it, but then you, you get to this place where you need to decide, do you want to add it to the pile or do you want to just leave it there? So I do feel like there is something that will be offered to you, but maybe this person has done this before. Maybe they've made offers like this before, it's just pile, pile, pile up all the time. And, but, but still they were always in this position of being non-committal. So you, you definitely need to be open and during Venus retrograde, reevaluate this situation to see if this is something you, you wish to have back. Cause I do feel like someone's returning with an apology and hoping to reestablish this connection. But it's truly up to you if you wish to take the apology or not. I feel like you'll definitely get past um, this, whatever these betrayals may have been. Or these feelings of, I feel, uh, Capricorn, that you've put in so much energy and work into a particular connection with someone. And you've overstayed your welcome and I feel like you probably got to this point where you said I just can't do it anymore and 
putting an end to the pain. It, you're, it's not like you're putting an end. I feel like you're, you're actually going to come to the end of this pain, probably going into November with this Venus retrograde, that it may just be done now. The cycle finishes. And Sagittarius, could some of you deal with be dealing with Sagittarius? Temperance means peace. Coming to this place of peace. So whether you decide, I'm not seeing your advice here to say for you to accept an offer or to accept anything here. I'm not seeing for you to not accept it. But I feel like it's really important that you take your time during the retrograde to figure out if this is the way you want to go. Some of you may have already done this in the past, but this person may be coming back around again to try to, you know, fix it or maybe they're truly sorry or offer an apology or try to make it work again. And I definitely see that you will put this behind you to stay in your place of peace. Some of you may actually be open-minded to receiving the apology, but then not do anything about it and just keep seeking your peace. Some of you may actually put this behind you and, you know, temperance is always where she's holding the two cups and she they're pouring the cups back and forth into each other. And that can represent being, you know, in this place of harmony between both of you. So there is a chance that some of you, if you do decide to accept an apology and try to reinitiate this connection with this person, I do feel like you will find peace and harmony and everything will get put in the past because of the Ace of Swords coming through. And if you decide not to, I still feel like you're going to remain in this place of peace and harmony in your life, that you won't allow yourself to be thrown off balance because temperance is balance. So it's really, for me, it's really going both ways. Could really go both ways but I I am seeing someone trying to reconnect with you or offer an apology to you okay so that's going to be your reading Capricorn I hope that you enjoyed it if you would like to get a personal reading for me just click the link in the box below please subscribe to my channel if you haven't I would truly appreciate it and you can click the notification bell to stay updated on when I upload videos Okay, so take care. I'll see you guys at the end of October. Bye.